Okay, YouTube, what's going on, guys? This is Turbo Greg 3D. Uh, what I'm talking about today is my old case. This is the Thermal Take, the Armor. Uh, I believe it's the AE90 or something like that. Well, anyway, this is a micro ATX case, micro, micro ATX form factor. Um, I am going out with the old and in with the new on this one. I'm changing out this old Thermal Take case uh, for a buddy of mine's. Um, I don't know if you guys know him. His name's well, he goes by Power GPU, aka Jesse. Um, check out his YouTube channel. He's got a bunch of stuff. Anyway, uh, I bought a case from him today. I bought one of the new Corsair cases. It's a mid tower. It looks pretty good. So what I'm doing is I'm swapping out this case for the new Corsair. Um, in the next video, I'm going to actually, you know, kind of do like a quick review on the Corsair. Thank you, Jesse. Um, yeah, real quick, this Thermal Tech case. It's awesome. I like it, but I got one complaint about it. It's really freaking small. Everything is crammed together like a. It's like it's like Legos. If you don't do it just right, like not all the pieces snap together. It's just frustrating sometimes. But the good thing is that this does accept a full ATX power supply, as well as two full-length graphics cards. These are actually the. These are two GTX 470s. Uh, I'm swapping these out too. I got a buddy of mine. Another buddy of mine. Look at the deals going. RMP Connect, uh, aka Ryan. Ryan is selling me a couple of Palette Edition GTX 570s. Um, so yeah, I'm, I got a good deal on those. I'm gonna buy those up, and those will be installed in the Corsair case soon enough, here in about a week. Um, so yeah, just like a quick run around of the case. Um, it does have this real nice fan in the top of it. One of these big, huge, like one of the 200 millimeter fans at the top. It's like monstrous. Um, I like it, but I would I wouldn't really recommend it to anybody unless you were doing like a uh, like a home theater PC or something like that. Um, some good notes uh, again the home theater PC capabilities. I'm literally taking this case and cramming it under my TV uh, in the living room. Uh, the bad notes again I got two 400 series graphics cards. The 470s I mean Nvidia has a very high heat threshold on those cards, but even though the threshold for heat is extremely high, I'm talking like 105 Celsius, this case, because of how small it is, it puts the cards right next to each other and they get burning hot inside that case. I had to actually downclock the 470s just to get them to keep the heat off. I got, accidentally one day, I got one of my graphics cards up to 109 Celsius. Okay, 109 is ridiculously hot. I started seeing screen tearing, all that stuff, but for like a single graphics card for a home theater PC, this would be great. Okay, again, it'd be awesome. And maybe if I had, maybe not the 400 series cards, which are notorious for heat. Maybe if I had like, you know, uh, maybe two of the 570s, you know, I think those would run a little bit cooler. Uh, and maybe had some better cooling options or something. Like the Galaxy card, I actually have one Galaxy and one EVGA 470. The EVGA is the one that I'm seeing heat problems with. The Galaxy one with the little you know custom cooler there, I'm not getting problems from. Um, but I do kind of blame the heat problem on the case. Uh, I hate to say it, I love the case. I love the design. I've always wanted to build one this cool. But I gotta say, I, I really, really wish that uh, you know there wasn't that heat problem. Even though it does have a bunch of fans, it's got fans everywhere. It's got USB three. Uh, awesome case. I really like it. But again. Some heat problems are forcing me to upgrade to a the nicer Corsair case. All right, next video showing you the Corsair. Okay, sit tight. 